What's going on there, YouTube? This is um, SEL0320. I'm finally doing a little bit better. My voice sounds a lot better. I came from work, passed out for like five hours. I'm still doing a lot of stuff, taking antibiotics. Finally starting to get a little bit better. Um, got a green screen in the back, as you can see. Um, but I'm back here again for, uh, I don't know. I'm tempted to believe that this has something to do with the bass compatibility or the new renovation for the Xbox preview dashboard. I apologize that you hear in the background, uh, but I did not want to wait on this. What you hear in the background is actually the dishwasher. It's not the washing machine. <laughs> but um, I had a lot of flack for these kind of videos. Every single time that I do them, everybody's like, oh, that's so unprofessional. Yeah. So look, the reason why I'm doing this now is because I want to get y'all to have the first hand uh, look if this is something legitimate. So Xbox One, which I'll actually go ahead and show you right here. So Xbox, they just sent me a message. They're basically saying, Xbox One Preview, you're getting ready for the new Xbox One Experience Preview. Launch application to launch this preview. So, as you can see on this side, it says, opt in to the new Xbox One Experience Preview. So, let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, it's almost time for the Xbox One Preview Experience. Thanks for your membership preview program the new xbox one experience is completely reimagined for the xbox one inspired for your feedback opting into this preview gets you in line to be among the first xbox one owners to experience it you're not quite ready to roll out with the xbox one experience preview yet but you're doing things a bit differently with the preview and need to input so please go through the experience ask questions this one it's completely reimagined Xbox One experience and feedback. It's faster, so so then okay. How do you get to the Xbox One experience? Because a significant update, we are now giving you the opportunity to decide for yourself if and how you want to participate in helping us release the new experience in the dashboard. We're releasing this in waves over the coming weeks, so not all members opt in will get the right away. To opt in, what you have to do launch your dashboard app registration then click change choose a group you would prefer so i guess we can go ahead and try this right now so I'll go to registration so let's do this close that Submit carefully. Turn to experience update or roll out in ways like you said. So it hasn't said anything or hinted at anything as far as um, going with uh, the backs compatibility, but I'm pretty sure this is why this is all brought to a forefront because to be honest with y'all, while, while I'm sitting here trying to update this registration stuff so y'all don't actually see it, um, what they've said um, I've been meaning to address this online because so many people have been trying to uh, get me to update them to the preview membership. I can't do that, not just because like my friends thing, it is full, but I have plenty of people that I know that actually have it that have been trying to invite people on a continuous basis. It's not just that. The problem is now is that the, um, Microsoft, they're limiting the amount of people that are actually going to be accessible to the preview program. I had a uh, article, which I might go on record and actually talking about it if I can find it. Right now, I'm trying to do this preview program, so I can't do both. But, um, okay, let's see. Where is it? There's the app. Wait for this to come on and finish. There we go. Um, but basically, to paraphrase, they basically said that there are a lot of people that have been trying to get access to the preview program and they have not. The reason why is because they're cutting back on the actual people they're allowing to actually do it. So there are people that are probably inviting you right now that you've put up requests and there's plenty of people that are still asking me to be invited. I can't even do that necessarily anymore personally, but even if I did take one person out of that pot, Lord, three, uh, and invite them, there's no guarantee they're even gonna be able to get access to it anymore because Microsoft has limited amount of people that are part of preview program. This is probably why they're actually creating this brand new 
um, opt-in Xbox One experience preview. That's probably the reason why they're actually doing it. And I just did, I think they're trying to move away from the Xbox 360 and just bring everything full backwards compatibility so they can move and progress. In. Um, but like I said, um, I think that all attributes to reason why a lot of y'all out there are not being able to get part of the preview program. I cannot, I can no longer invite people to the preview program personally. I've been trying to delete people. I've deleted hundreds of people, re-added hundreds of people. It just, it does not work. Um, but now anybody that's actually been a contributor, it's been awesome and inviting so many people, don't get mad at them y'all because chances are they are inviting you just like they're saying they are but microsoft is limited the amount of people that are actually accessible to this so um like i said i'm gonna go ahead and try to um do this registration process um and see if everything goes through with that if that all goes through fine um i'm gonna make another video so y'all can be able to actually see it uh, so I'm launching and uh, just stay tuned. I'll be right back. So I'm at a catch 22. Um, I really don't know what to do. Basically, referring back to what we just talked about with the preview program or the Xbox One experience preview. Um, basically, I have two different options. I can stay with the group that I have um, and I'll even show you. <coughs> Basically with the console registration, it shows you right here that you can actually choose the option and wait until later to get access to the new experiences, but remain in the preview program. I went back and I looked at the, the subtext and it's basically saying that you can still stay the same state that you are. If you're a preview program member right now, you can stay that way and you'll still get it faster than general public. But if you go to this one right here, then you can choose the option to opt in to consideration to participate in the preview new Xbox One experience upstate review released approximately twice per week. So basically you'll get less stability because it's going to be untested stuff. That's the whole purpose of actually doing it. So anybody out there that's actually part of the preview program is actually trying to think about doing this. You need to take in consideration that you won could make your system unstable um, but you might get access to like the back compatibility and other different features a lot quicker i'm trying to figure out what i should do because if i stay where i am i'm good not just that i don't know how this is going to reflect like if i go and click on preview the new experience if i'm choosing to opt in consideration participate with it it says consideration it doesn't say that i'm even going to be able to be potentially in the new experience i think that they're doing this to get people out of the old one to make room for more people to be able to be doing the regular one i think that's why they created two different halves of people um updates will be released approximately twice per week so i think probably because i've been a last year member that's the reason why they're offering this to me i'm not sure if everybody's getting it i just know i don't want to lose my preview privileges by clicking this because basically it's saying that i'm opting in for consideration it doesn't say i'm actually going to get it um so i'm thinking about clicking it and I, I don't i just don't know i keep on going back to the reading i've gone and i've read like op 10 process and i've gone all the way down like there's this one catch that i'll read it to y'all uh it says can i opt out of the xbox one experience preview it says yes during your preview period there are two ways you can opt out of receiving prior to receiving the new experience update preview take no action will default you to the remaining existing xbox one preview experience which that leaves me okay you still get benefits of the preview like backwards compatibility but you will stay in your current xbox one update that's available to the general public later before the general re release uh the new experience will update your console to the latest preview build so you'll still get it a little bit early anyway but then i go up to the top and like, where was it that I was reading this? It was like, I've opted into the experience. This update will roll out in waves considering small numbers of people, um, but you don't know. It doesn't say like, okay, if I do this, that there's a plus and a minus with this. I, I, I'm just really worried about trying to do this. And I know even maybe, maybe I'm making a bigger deal with this, but I just so y'all know, and can understand like I'm going through this preview process just like y'all like like I just came off of being sick I mean I don't know uh, what is the benefit of doing this other than um, getting stuff quicker 
and I don't know if me doing this will actually n remove my preview process. Like, that's, that's what I'm more worried about than anything because it says you can pick A, like I said, doing the new uh, Xbox One experience option if you want the new updates and features as soon as possible, which seems like a better deal. But then you got the existing experience, you can just stay in and you just wait there until later and you'll just remain in the preview program. By default, all members will be in this group anyway and it just it'll be like maybe like a week before it gets to the general public. I think what I'm gonna do for y'all, and this is for y'all, because otherwise, this, the analytical part of me and the smarter part of me, in my opinion, wants to just stay where I am and not submit to doing this one. I just don't want to lose this. <laughs> but I'm going to do it for y'all so y'all can see. Um, I'm going to the dark side. I'm submitting to do uh, the regular new one. Uh, I'm submitting. I don't want to. Important to read this. Oh God, see, here we go. Choose opt-in consideration to participate for this experience. Updates will be released approximately twice per week. Select to confirm will remove your console from your current preview program experience. And see, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Not all games applications will work early release of the new online preview experience. Please see known issues with the preview dashboard. The new um, Xbox One experience is still in development. Not all features will be available initially. Early updates may be unstable. This release will roll out in small groups initially in larger time. After you install the new Xbox One experience, you can opt out at any time. Please note that this will restore the factory restart factory defaults to your computer release all locally stored accounts oh my god <laughs> y'all <laughs> after you install the new experience you can't opt out at any time <sighs> i don't know if i can do this y'all she's the opt out consideration but i mean this is the thing that messes me up by selecting you remove by se by selecting confirm you remove your console from the current Xbox One preview experience. Important to read. I mean, oh my gosh, really? So I'd be losing it. Like, hopefully y'all feel this pressure and weight that I'm feeling. Like I'm doing this for y'all, but I don't know if this is a good idea. Cause I honestly feel like Microsoft is just screwing everybody. Like because they have too many people. They're like, okay, people are gonna want to opt into the newer experience, you know? Oh crap, man. Oh, what to do? Hey Joe. <laughs> I need your <laughs> I need your advice. Not all games and apps will work in the early releases of the new preview program. Joe? Well, Joe's not here, I guess. I could've sworn he was here. I don't wanna do this. <laughs> I don't wanna lose my preview program. Select and confirm will remove your console from the current Xbox One preview experience. Joe, can you hear me? I guess, I don't know if he's there. Um, flip, man. See, this video is going longer than I want it. Okay. Updates will be released approximately every few weeks. <sighs> Gosh. I've been a preview member for I don't know how freaking long, y'all. All right. I'm doing it for the lols. Hope y'all know I love y'all. <laughs> Coming off of being sick, just... Coming back to playing Xbox One with Destiny. I mean, I'm sitting there playing the Destiny, which we're going to roll out with the Taken King review eventually. That's a work in progress. I just reached level 40. I don't even know how the heck I did that. I did it in really one day, one night. But um, still a light level thing that you have to worry about. But <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Ugh. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this console will be 
Move to the preview new experience group prior to the beginning of the next update wave. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I smell you. There you go. Okay. So I don't. I don't lose anything. All right. So it's safe, everybody. <laughs> if any of y'all out there that have um, the preview program right now, you will not, I guess, lose your preview program because I still got it right here. And so I guess it's just, um, it just opted me in. So yeah, I think I'm good. Um, I'm gonna go back to the registration and see something real quick. So enrollment changing, pending, as you can see right there. So I guess we're good, everybody. Well. Like I said, um, remember, anybody out there that is being invited, um, it's a possibility you're not going to be able to actually get anybody, okay? You're not, it's, it's a real strong possibility that you are getting invited by other people and you just can't get in just because of the fact that they're not letting that many more people in. It was specifically brought out from Microsoft. IGN made a big coverage about it. It was all over on GameStop and all over the internet. I just didn't readdress it to y'all. And I've seen so many different people leave all these different comments and questions. I think one of the biggest videos I've ever had is the actual backwards compatibility video. Like almost 300,000 people. So, I mean, it's been like a great group network of people that have really tried to help each one teach one to get them inside of this preview program. And I think we're part of the reason why there's like a flux of people that's really engaged into the Microsoft Xbox Live network with the preview program. I think we've done that. So I had to make this video as soon as I saw these updates and I'm gonna to continue to do this anytime Microsoft comes up with anything new just because of the love y'all shared to the channel. And uh, hopefully this helps some of y'all out. But remember, I cannot invite anybody anymore and if anybody is actually asking to be invited, know that there may be no actual invitation you're gonna actually be received from Microsoft, even if they invite you. So try to continue to invite people, yeah, but just know that people are trying and it probably is that they just can't get it because of what Microsoft has done. But either way, there is a new Xbox One experience preview that's coming out, so just stay tuned for that. And uh, as soon as I get it, I'm actually gonna could I do a video on it? Thanks everybody for watching. This is SEO 0320 representing JVS. One love. Take care, Xbox family, and uh, talk to you soon.